So in looking at acute angles, I'm going to try to move this a little bit quicker. We know that acute have to be what? Less than 90 degrees, right? Very good. So we know that this angle, D, that angle measure is what, Sierra? Exactly. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that's at 90 degrees. Then we go and take a look at, so we need to kind of find some angles that are going to be smaller than 90 degrees. Well, Dominic, when you look, I can see that you know this angle, that looks like it's less than 90 degrees. All right. So now I need to say, well, what is that vertical angle? How do I create vertical angles? So does anybody remember the definition of vertical angles, of what vertical angles are? Just to maybe some key points. Yeah, Nick? They share the same vertex. They are across from each other. All right? And what do they not share? They don't share any sides. And how do we create vertical angles? They are the intersection of two lines. So you guys can see right here, we have a line here and a line here. That creates an angle here. Well, what would be another angle? I can't say here's an angle because they share a side. I can't say here's an angle because they share a side. But if I use this angle, you can see that those are going to be vertical angles. So therefore, I write out um, <coughs> angle BFC and angle what? DFG. Very good. What do you mean? Yeah, you can do GFG. Yes. 